Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear us? Yep, we can hear you. Okay, cool. All right, we'll open up a brief statement with Coach, and then we'll take questions after that. Yeah, I would just say, um, you know, really, really proud of our girls. I think winning in this league is is really hard to do, and winning on the road is is um, even that much harder. I think Coach Harris has done a tremendous job uh, with her program. Very athletic, uh, very skilled. Uh, they they defend as well as anybody in the country. And um, you know, tonight it it wasn't pretty. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was downright ugly at times. Uh, very physical. And um, really hard to get into a flow, but credit um, Coach Harris and her team. Um, and at the same time, really proud of our players, just the resiliency that they played with and um, their ability to, to fight through ugly and, and uh, find a way to get a big win on the road. Uh, Robin, when you, when you talk about uh, Caitlin's performance tonight, what's the one thing that stands out to you the most? She's just a smooth operator. Um, you know, I think uh, the pace that she plays at, she's a little bit deceiving. Uh, I know she's probably going to be pretty frustrated with her turnovers. Um, but I just, you know, I think she gives us a calming presence out there. Um, you know, still getting back into game shape and, and whatnot. But her ability to, to play downhill, uh, to play with a change of speed. Um, I think her length from a rebounding standpoint, the way she defends, uh, certainly uh, was big for us this evening. Robin, how important for you is it to see, you know, obviously you mentioned it's an ugly win, but how important is it to see your team can fight through those, you know, this early in the season in SEC play? Yeah, really big. You know, when you look at the the this league um, and look how strong it is defensively, I mean, it's it's pretty daunting. Uh, super athletic, um, you know, as most teams are in this league. Uh, the physicality of the game, um, you know, it was just it was uh, our rhythm was definitely disrupted on the offensive end. Uh, but I thought our players did a good job of of playing through. Um, you know, plays that could have been deflating at times and their resiliency uh, was really, really strong. And so proud of them for that, for sure. I thought defensively, we did a really nice job. Uh, Auburn has been scoring at a pretty high rate. Uh, they score a lot off their transition um, and turnovers. And, and we talked before the game, our goal was to hold them to 61. So honestly, uh, to be able to hold them to 56, I thought we did a really good job. Uh, sent them to the free throw line too many times in that first half. That was a point of emphasis in the second half. Uh, they got 10 free throws in the first half. They were nine for 10. And, um, you know, we just, we didn't want to bail them out. We wanted to make them hit tough shots. And um, I thought we did a good job adjusting in the second half. What a couple of games it's been for, for Haley Frank, obviously, you know, what, what, what have you seen from her in the past few games? Obviously two 20 point nights, but how, how much have you seen her grow just this season? It seems like. She's just a warrior. Uh, you know, she's a uh, loves to compete. Uh, she understands she's an upperclassman, um, you know, what's on her plate and uh, she's really embraced it. Um, you know, I'm really proud of her. I just, you saw her play with a lot of passion. I thought a lot of grittiness, a lot of toughness. And, um, you know, I thought it was a great leader for our team, very vocal in timeouts and, you know, everything you'd expect out of, out of a senior who's been in the trenches and, um, you know, understands what this league is all about. Obviously, it's been her and Lauren, it seems like, for the past few games. But, you know, when Lauren's not on the court maybe scoring as much, what do you feel like she, she brings to this team? What do you feel like she brought tonight? Who, Lauren? Yes, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Lauren had a tough night. Um, you know, sometimes the ball is just not going to fall for you. And, you know, when you've got a scoring mentality, sometimes it's, you know, it, it can be frustrating. And had a couple turnovers, a uh, couple fouls. And, and I know, you know, she understands the importance of staying out of foul trouble. And so that was a little bit deflating. Um, really, you know, I, I, I think was a great teammate. Continued to, you know, we, we all want to shoot her shots. Um, but I think, you know, she had a, a uh, deep three early in the shot clock, late in the second half. And, and those are ones that we've just got to be better decision makers um, at that point. But it, it was a little bit of a rough night for Lauren. Uh, she'll bounce back and be better because of it. Robin, I do think uh, our, our, 
our freshmen played really well. Uh, really proud of what we got out of Ashton Judd and, and Avery Kroenke. I thought both of them um, had super quality minutes for us on the road in the SEC. That kind of leads to the question out I had is uh, well, I think the I think against Kentucky I, I know you guys are kind of looking for a way to close out that game and tonight uh, with a chance to kind of seal it with a minute left Ashton obviously hits that cold blooded three I mean well to to have a player like that have these kind of options opening up to close out games on the road how big is that especially as you kind of move forward and, and you have more road games like this uh, coming up yeah I think it's huge I think you know it, it's going to take every everybody on this roster and. Uh, you never know who that person's going to be on any given night, and you've got to own your role. Um, I just Ashton's fearless. Uh, you know, she's not afraid of the moment. She's gotten a lot of minutes under her belt, uh, playing at a pretty high level. You know, we talk about uh, her knocking down big shots, but also I thought she had some really good defensive possessions for us as, as well that that were big. And then uh, Avery hitting a, a huge shot down the stretch for us. So uh, really uh, quality play for both of our freshmen. And uh, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but Auburn's uh, Kul- uh, Kulabali. I mean, what went into the game plan to defend her a little bit today, and how can you use that going forward with some of the bigger players you see in the SEC? Yeah, she's a big time player. Uh, she's she's pretty elite. Um, she's just so explosive. Um, you know, a relentless rebounder. Um, does a really good job of playing downhill. Can shoot the three. Um, you know, didn't didn't knock any down tonight, but she has the ability to to knock down the three. Um, but really explosive and, and hard to guard playing downhill and also a really good defender. Um, you know, she's uh I think she was a preseason, was she a preseason uh all SEC player or, or was that honesty or both of them? I can't remember, but um, you know, Joni's done it or Coach Harris has done a tremendous job putting this roster together and they got a veteran team returning and um, you know, they're going to, they're going to have a good season. There's no doubt in my mind. I know last year uh, at this point, um, we have obviously the same core with Haley, Lauren and, and players like that. I mean, what, how have you seen this core kind of get more veteran savvy this year at to this point, as opposed to where they were maybe last year and years past? Yeah. You know, I just think diamonds are formed in the fires and I've said that before, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, I think, Sometimes you just have to go through adversity um, and and when you can get through it on the other side, it will allow you to go to places that you couldn't have gone to without it. And so just, um, you know, embracing, uh, embracing it. And it's hard to do. It's really hard to do, especially in this day and age. You know, we all want instant gratification. And when it gets hard, we want to take a hard left. Um, but this group has embraced it. Uh, they've stayed the course. Uh, they've owned what they need to own, and and uh, I think we're better because of it. Coach, the the team started one for nine from behind the arc in that first quarter, and then they seemed to shoot less from there as the game went on. Was was there any sort of adjustment there? Or was it just kind of a game where you could have more success inside? No, you know, we just we we encourage them to play more inside out. I felt like when we were getting inside touches, and 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 not just with um, you know entry passes into the post but when we were able to get a piece of the paint uh with our dribble penetration and really play inside out um you know i think that opened up a few more things for us i thought we got some good things going downhill with that high ball screen and just kind of loosened them up a little bit uh so we did a good job attacking in transition but i also think um the threes that we got um you know after initially going one for nine i felt like they were a little bit more rhythm threes by playing inside out more questions all right thanks guys appreciate you guys thank you thanks robin